Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So, welcome to your readings for the month of November 2018. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of us here in the United States. Um, happy holidays. We are approaching the holiday season, guys. The year is almost over. Where the hell did the time go? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for those. Um, the readings that I offer are found in the description box below, along with my email. Just go ahead and read through those and uh, pick whichever one you'd like and let me know and we can move forward. If you cannot decide, feel free to email me and we'll chat a little bit about what you would like to achieve with the reading and I will help you pick out the best format to suit your needs. Yeah, If you are in the New York City area, I recommend that you come down and see me, honey, <laughs> every Monday at Om Shanti Bookshop from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box. Uh, you can go to the website and find their number there. If you would like to book a reading in advance instead of just like showing up at that moment, you are more than welcome to do so. You can do that with me or any other reader that is available at the shop. Just give them a call, tell them when you would like to come in, at what time, and we will get you set up. Yeah? So, true to form, I am working with the Golden Universal Tarot. Ace of Wands. The Golden Universal Tarot uh, for the readings. And then I will be closing the reading with some guidance from the Unicorn Oracle. Yeah? All right, guys. So I, I guess that's it. So I guess we should just get to it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for November 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Pisces to serve the highest good of all involved and all involved, excuse me, for the month of November 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ooh, Pisces. Let me tell you, you got some unconditional love surrounding you. Maybe you are in love. Are you in love, Pisces? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Look at you. I can see I can see you blushing right now. Mm-hmm. Pisces. I love you. I love. I love Pisces. In Eastern astrology, uh, Vedic, sidereal, um, I my Venus is in Pisces. So I very much resonate with your energy on the love scale. Um, and I'm very much about, you know, my Venus and Pisces, for me, I've, I'm learning that it translates, it translates into um, very much an unconditional, universally loving vibration, which is great. I love it. Pisces. I'm just seeing pink. It's a soft pink for you guys. Um, that's also the unconditionally loving energy of the universe. So maybe some of you guys are going through a pretty rough situation and you're needing a little extra love. Um, this is self-love. Some of you could be learning self-love right now, going through some really tough lessons that are encouraging or pushing you towards learning greater self-love and self-care, okay? Pisces. All right, Pisces. Yeah, and now I'm seeing green heart chakra healing opening even. But someone's in love here. Let me, oof, someone is in love, honey. <laughs> Last shuffle. One more shuffle for you, Pisces. And let's get to it. Oops. All right. Pisces, overall energy. You've got the seven of wands. So there's a bit of defensiveness here. Now, so this this is boundaries. This is guardedness. Okay, some of you might really be in love with someone, and you're 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 putting up some walls to protect yourself. Some of you might be needing to have this these boundaries here because you're dealing with some uh, maybe a rough situation um, that's causing you to learn more self love. So in learning more self love, you're placing some stronger boundaries. Okay, that's great. You've got the Empress. You've got the Hermit. 
and you've got the Ten of Wands. So some of you are really overburdened, and I don't like, I really don't like seeing the Ten of Wands for Pisces. That's not feeling so good right now. Um, and so, so some of you are needing to, and I just heard unconditional love. Well, you have that unconditional love, but do you have it for yourself, Pisces? Interesting. Because I feel like some of you need to put your foot down, put up some boundaries, get to know yourself a little bit better with the hermit, and then drop some of these burdens with the Ten of Wands that's underneath the deck. And the Empress here is really talking about unconditional love. Okay? The Empress is also talks is, the Empress also symbolizes Venus. Venus will be in retrograde until about the 15th or 16th of November. I think it's the 16th officially. Um, and then she'll be in shadow period until about the 17th of December. But Venus in retrograde may really be helping you understand this unconditionally loving vibration. For yourself, because I'm not saying, because many of you do hold it for others, but then when it comes to yourself, it's a little bit of a different story. And so there are boundaries that need to be put in place and there are some burdens that need to be dropped. Okay. All righty. Let's get into the energies for the first half of the month. First set of surrounding energies. You've got the Queen of Swords. Discernment. Yep. Cut that shit out. Queen of Swords, that shit. I'm not doing that. I don't want to be associated with that. I, no, just no. And it's not even about the drama here with the Queen of Swords. She just is cutting shit out. She says, no, that doesn't work for me. I'm not doing it. Not work for me. It doesn't work for me. Or how about you straight up just don't want to? <laughs> that is perfectly valid too, Pisces. All right? Queen of Swords is coupled with my, my. The Three of Swords. Now, this very well could be, some of you, like I said, some of you might be coming out of a pretty tumultuous situation. You might be in a relationship where, you know, your heart is getting broken. You could be kind of being trampled over, kind of being taken advantage of, potentially. And so now you're needing to Queen of Swords that bitch. Possibly even might need to Eight of Cups that bitch, too. Now... Also, what I'm getting, the vibration that I'm getting from this Three of Swords here is your heart has been broken. You've been taken advantage of. You've been backstabbed, maybe even, because of a lack of discernment. Because you've given too much. Instead of saying, no, I don't want to do that, you just agreed in some situations. And that broke your heart. That hurt you. I really feel like some for some of you that I'm connecting with right now, you were more giving to others than you were of yourself. And in the end, that just left you heartbroken. And now it's time to cut that shit out. Queen of Swords, that shit. <coughs> Excuse me. Sneeze on the confirmation. There you go. Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month. You've got temperance. Balancing. Temperance has been coming out for all, all, almost all of the signs that I did today. I started with Scorpio. I'm on Pisces now. And I don't remember if it came out with Scorpio, but I think it's been coming out since Sagittarius. For each sign since Sagittarius. Okay? Balance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with an air sign too. Virgo. Aries. Taurus. With the with the, her, with the Hierophant. I'm sorry, not the Hierophant. The, uh, the Empress here. Potentially a fire sign with the seven of wands, but I tend to keep more of the the sign association to the major arcana or individuals, like like uh, court cards. Anyway, temperance is happening here. I'm getting strong Sagittarius energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, patience also. Patience with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? If you're going through a rough time, just think about, look at it more as a learning experience than a reason to be mad at yourself, okay? Mm, goodness, excuse me. Uh, temperance is coupled with the star. So yeah, you really do need to be patient with yourself because healing is happening. 
Wishes are coming true. Wishes are being fulfilled, even though it may not look that way right now. You might your wish fulfillment could be coming right now in the form of contrast, understanding what it is you don't want by experiencing that, so that you can then create what you do want. Okay, could be dealing with an Aquarius too. The current the challenge for the first half of the month you've got. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected, destitute, impoverished. And for a lot of you, from what I'm picking up here, some of you kind of feel that way towards yourselves as if you've done that to yourself. In some ways, if you're resonating with that part of the message, you kind of have by choosing others over yourself, putting others before yourself, okay? The challenge is overcoming that feeling. Five of Pentacles is coupled with the Queen of Wands. My, my, that's a very interesting combination because the Queen of Wands is not someone to put herself out in the cold or to feel left out in the cold. The Queen of Wands is very self-confident, very self-sure. So maybe the challenge is to get your self-belief back after dealing with this energy, with, while dealing with these energies of feeling left out in the cold. The potential outcome for the first half of the month, you got the fool, Pisces. This could, I tend to see this as you sometimes. I'm getting your energy from this, Pisces. A brand new start. A fresh look on life, maybe. The fool is coupled with, ooh, the tower. Now. Some of you could be dealing with a tower moment coming up. All of this energy that I'm picking up of, uh, picking up of someone like kind of basically putting themselves out in the cold. Well, by the ha first half of the month, you could have a tower moment that sets you straight on that, that illuminates that for you. And then you gear up for a brand new start with the fool. Or some of you had this tower moment. And now after moving through all these energies that were started by the tower moment, You've got a brand new start, okay? First set of current energies for the second half of the month. I'm not, not current energies, surrounding energies for the second half of the month. You've got four of pentacles. Still holding on to something? Or is someone holding on to you? Four of pentacles is coupled with the three of cups. Okay. I'm getting it. Four of Pentacles here is really talking about maintaining those boundaries that need to be put in place with the Seven of Wands. And a celebration coming through. Like it's almost I'm feeling like a personal victory here with the Three of Cups. Because of maintaining your boundaries. Yeah. Second set of surrounding energies you have. High Priestess, Secrecy, coupled with the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's some good, there's some illusion around you, Pisces, potentially. Mystery is what I'm getting from the High Priestess. Use your intuition here. Something is shrouded in mystery in the second half of the month. You could be dealing with a bunch of different options when it comes to relationships. It doesn't have to be relationships. It could be business or just options in general. Maybe feeling clouded and confused. If you are feeling clouded and confused in the second half of the month, Pisces, really lean on your intuition. But then I hear some people saying, but what if, I, what if it's my intuition that's helping, making me feel clouded, uh, clouded and confused? Meditate. Do as much as you can to clear your mind. Do as much as you can actually to clear away. I'm picking up, clear out any external energies. If you've just been taking on a bunch of people's energy, you need to clear that out. Okay? The challenge for the second half of the month, you've got, ooh, the Ten of Cups. Whoa, <laughs> that literally just flipped onto my computer. Why is that challenging though? Ten of Cups is coupled with the Nine of Cups. My, my. This 
interesting, Pisces. I think with you standing your ground and holding your, your spot here with the Four of Pentacles, that's going to bring you some sort of celebration, maybe even a reconciliation. You may not be fully aware of it. There are some things that are shrouded in secrecy surrounding whatever situation you're going to, you're, you're, you're associating with, with the High Priestess and the Seven of Cups. And your challenge is the Nine and the Ten of Cups here. So you're really progressing. You're moving towards the Nine and the Ten of Cups. And this is your challenge because this is what you're trying to achieve, okay? The wish fulfillment and the happy ending. Very interesting. The potential outcome for the second half of your month, you've got the Six of Swords. So moving forward, moving away from something that was tumultuous and moving towards calmer waters, peace of mind even. Six of Swords is coupled with, ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So you've got the Ten of Cups, the Nine and the Ten of Cups in your challenge for the second half of the month. And then you've got the Ten of Pentacles as the potential outcome. And I see this really as the culmination of the Ten of Cups that's in your challenge. For some of you, this could be the final manifestation or you finally moving forward towards that final manifestation of the Ten of Pentacles. Um, it could also be you moving forward and starting to invest in something for a long-term payout. And there really could be some serious movement at the end of the month surrounding that. You've got three of the tens here. You've got the ten of wands, the ten of cups, and the ten of pentacles. Thankfully, there's no ten of... Ooh, sorry. There's no ten of swords. Is that thankfully? Maybe there needs to be a ten of swords for some of you. But I'm glad that I don't see it here because even, because even if you're going through a tumultuous situation, we don't want it to go that far where now it's at the ten of swords. So sure, the worst is behind you, but that is some painful shit. So if you can get out of that before it even gets there, like if you can nip it in the three, nip it, nip it in the bud with the three of swords, do it. By all means, honey, do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get into your oracle guidance here from the unicorns. Let's see what we've got from a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and uh, Venus. All right, Pisces, November 2018. What do we got for you, Pisces? Woo, okay, that's a good amount, but I'll take it. Underneath the deck, you have friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. Some of you could be connecting with someone on a friendship level that could really be a soulmate. I'm just going to throw it out there. That could turn into something more. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups. This could be something. You've got Receive. Be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. You've got Nature. Ground yourself. Find sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elementals. So definitely go out there and ground yourself. Yes, spend some time in nature. Maybe even spend some time by the water. And finally, you have cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. Okay. Um, this is also giving me an energy of patience here, which is here in temperance with the star. But all in all, Pisces, this seems this is turning out to be a good reading for you. I like I'm liking these potential outcomes here you've got going on. All right, Pisces. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. I wish you all a great month. Um, happy Thanksgiving to those of us in the United States. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of October. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.